I've mentioned before how our guides can talk to us in, in a lot of different ways and it's not usually just hearing a sentence, it's getting different kinds of information and, and as you practice listening or feeling into information that comes it gets a bit clearer. But I've had a really fun time this weekend with, with that kind of communication and I thought I would share how that came about. So the, the end of the story is I now have a garden. The beginning of the story is I was in a bookstore and I saw a kind of a herbal foraging remedy style book. And I just felt so much joy when I saw it. I held it and I felt this entunement with it. So brought this home with me without any consideration or you know, shopping around or any real conscious process other than I knew that it was right for me. And then when I was in the hardware shop, just buying products for the house, I went into the plant section and just came out with a plant, but it felt like they were showing me a memory of the corner of my garden where um, currently is, was stones and a tree. And they were kind of making me feel into that piece of the land and it felt quite fertile and sunny and I had a feeling that it would be a great place to plant a fruit tree of some kind. So I went into the plant area and came out with this fruit tree. And then I had a memory of some beautiful women I know who are very good gardeners talking to me about how you need two of these two fruit. So I knew I was going back for more another day but first I wanted to see what I was going to do with this whether I was even going to plant the poor thing and a family member came over and we made a, a day of many things including planting this beautiful little feature and I felt so calm with it in the earth and so comfortable with this energy now this is quite different for me because I've been told for years to be growing food and to, to be learning about nature and plants and things like this. And I've always felt very insecure because I don't have any knowledge on how to do this. And I didn't have the energy to try and learn how to do it. So it was really a great experience for me to be able to have this guidance into what to buy and where to plant and to how it would feel, sun, no sun. And so feeling calm about this experience was a surprise to me. And then I had another memory, and they're so good at this, of a friend talking to me about planting a passion fruit. So again, I messaged this beautiful woman and said to her, you know, full sun, not sun, lots of water, how do I keep it alive? And exactly what she told me was where they had shown me to put it. So again, more faith restored in how they're communicating with me. And while I was there, there was a boysenberry, there were tomatoes, there were, like it went on. By the end of the day, I have a wee garden indoors, a wee garden outdoors. I have a wee orchard growing and my bench top herbs and chives and quite a lot going on. So I have a garden in my home and they made it so easy. They made it feel effortless. It, I couldn't say it was without my consent. I did the moving, I did the shopping, I did the planting. But I didn't have to struggle, it just flowed. A beautiful energy came into the room when I was discussing plants with a friend the day before and they were sharing with me the healing properties of this plant and so I felt like they would continue to give me that kind of information and as I leaned into the care of the garden today they were bringing in knowledge about when to water and how much to water and things like that so I'm in this interesting position where my guides have found a way to get me to do this because obviously it's for my higher good they don't tell you what to do they have made it effortless and light and fun I feel really good so I know it's the right choices but the thing I wanted to share with you was more around how they've communicated they've communicated by bringing back memories by showing me the feeling in the land by walking over time and what I mean by that is showing me what it would be now in a week and two weeks from here, weather, roots, things like that. So they've been sharing in memories and words and 
knowledge and feeling and it's really fun to have all of that kind of be put together into a lesson of how I'm going to do this and always for me the learning is is beautiful when you start to pull out where you found new aspects of yourself what else you've learned so this feeling that sits in me when I'm growing and planting and in nature is incredible you know we have these with these feelings when we're with children our children or when we are creators or when we are successful at work or um, help support somebody so it's one of those beautiful I'm in tune with where I'm meant to be and finding these new aspects of me and tuning into these new channels of knowledge that are coming to everyone and and I don't have the fear or the anxiety or the pressure I just have this incredible uh, it's like listening to music all these different notes coming in about my garden and I feel very blessed to have that support and connection and their gentle fun way of teaching me making it easy making sure that my mediumship is light and beautiful and helpful and practical